hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i know in my last video i said i wouldn't be posting a video for a while but this came in the mail and i could not help unboxing it and recording a little video so uh yeah i'm back <laughs> uh so a few weeks ago i watched a video on a youtube channel by um uh, papertude and she was reviewing this uh hodrum aquarel uh, set by Schminky um, and it's called the ultimate mixing set and I highly recommend you watching her video because um, her review of this set is going to be a lot better than mine but uh, as soon as I watched that video I jumped onto Jackson's and ordered it uh, it took two weeks to get here um, from the UK and it arrived the other day and as soon as it arrived I wanted to unbox it and start playing around with these colors so what sucked me into this palette was um, that most of the colors in this palette are not colors that I would normally have in my palette um, but the front of the box and the color combinations that were mixed from these uh, are definitely colors that I'm drawn to and colors that I would be using in my work so I found it interesting that you know the colors that I don't normally use to mix uh, in this set. So anyway, um, that's why I was intrigued and also Paper Chew's video was, you know, very tempting. <laughs> she does a lot of really good mixing um, examples uh, and she's um, a lot better at explaining all the pigments that are in these and why each um, paint is really, you know, why the pigment is good compared to others and, um, and explaining the technicalities of the paints a lot more than I am. But yeah this is just my opinion uh, and also i will say off the bat this isn't sponsored at all i legitimately paid for this myself i'm not affiliated with um sminky or anything like that so this is just my opinion um so anyway the colors are um turner's yellow which is like a really um almost semi-opaque yellow uh transparent orange Uh, Quidacrono Magenta I use a lot in my palette. This is probably one of the only colours in this set that I would already own and that I already have. Um, the rest of them are totally new. Uh, Potter's Pink. I don't have the schminky version of Potter's Pink. I do have the um, Daniel Smith version, but this is a very sort of muted brownie pink. Uh, we then have cobalt, cobalt Violet Hue, which is like a really nice um, dull bluish purple colour. Thalo Sapphire Blue. Now, I use a lot of Thalo Blue, but not Thalo Sapphire Blue. I believe this has a little bit more green in it. Perline Green is another green that I haven't used before. I really like the, the dirtiness of this green, and I think that would make some really beautiful mixtures. Cobalt Azure is another really pretty um, blue that's similar to Cerulean, but not quite the same. And then finally, we have Viridian, which is like a really, really bright, vibrant green. So what drew me to these, this particular palette and wanting to get it is the number of... Um, cool colors compared to warm colors and also the fact that it's not really a traditional basic palette like normally uh, for example like there's no um, burnt sienna there are no black there is no there isn't even a yellow ochre there's a lot of like really um cool colors and only a few warm colors which i found really interesting and when it comes to mixing like greens and purples and um all the colors that i tend to use a lot in my artworks this palette would be really good or at least you know from from watching the video and looking at the colors i i feel like i'll probably use these combinations of colors and the fact that it's called like the ultimate mixing set you know that that tempted me because you know in theory <laughs> that tells me that i should be able to mix you know any color that i could really want to mix with this so I did a few swatches and I just played around with it a little bit. I didn't really know exactly what to paint with it to start with because I was just testing. Um, and I will apologize in advance. The lighting in this particular video is quite poor. It was a very, very overcast day and I had all of the, the artificial lights on in the room and it's just made everything look really weird. Uh, I do take some photos or some video um, in much better lighting towards the end of the video. So um, if you could just yeah make do with the poor lighting until then. Uh, so I just did a quick little um, landscape sketch with some of these colours. Uh, now, actually, the quality of the paint is obviously really great. I mean, 
Hodram, um, sorry, Schminky, Schminky, Schminke, Schminky. I can never pronounce that properly. Um, <laughs> they're obviously very good quality paints. And the paint set itself, like the actual tin that it comes in, is actually a really good sized tin. Um, it's got mixing palettes on both sides. You can actually lift off where the paints are and use the whole center of the palette as a mixing palette as well. Um, and there's actually room within the palette to add at least another probably dozen um, half pans. So you can like expand on this palette as well, which I thought was really good. Uh, and yeah, the quality of the tins actually, you know, more than sufficient. So, and yeah, the quality of the paint's lovely. They wet up really quickly and nicely. And there's also a really good mixture of um, granulating and non-granulating paints in this set. So you kind of get like really interesting um, granulations and mixtures happening and you know, different pigments and things happening within the colours. So just playing around with those, I, had, I thought that was really fun. So I did decide to do like a sort of half page um, painting in my sketchbook. So let me just actually have a look at what this sketchbook is. I feel like it's a Stillman and Burn. Let me just quickly have a bit of a sticky bake. What are we? No, sorry, it's a Strathmore. Um, this is a Strathmore 400 series watercolour paper. Uh, sketchbook that's what I'm painting in um, so it is actually watercolor paper and I decided to just do a quick little sketch of um, the flowers that I had in front of me I took a photo of them and sketched them out and then decided to have a bit of a play so so yeah so um, I, as I was saying I highly recommend that you go and watch um, the video that I watched by um, Paper Lude I will paper chewed, sorry, I'll pop that the link to that video in my description so you can find it super easy. Uh, because as I said, she she goes through each individual paint, the pigment that's used in it, um, whether it's you know opaque or transparent and whether it's granulating or not. It was a really, really informative and useful video to watch, which is why I highly recommend watching it. Um, she's a lot more knowledgeable on those sorts of things than me when it comes to watercolour and pigments. Um, I just like the pretty colours and that's what I was attracted to. Uh, so laying down these colors, um, yeah, they worked really nicely. Like this was a fairly, there wasn't a lot of, um, color mixtures and things in this actual reference photo, mostly just pinks and greens, but I found that mixing the greens was really easy. Like there is so many variations of green that you can get in this palette. So I think that it would be a fantastic, um, landscape palette, especially for just, you know, going out and sketching, um, plein air and you know doing some color referencing and you know taking it out with you uh, there is a lot of options of color mixtures in this and um, like I said the the only two colors in here that well really only the one color in this set that I am very familiar with is the quinacridone magenta because I do use that a lot in my both acrylic and watercolor palettes um, the rest of the colors are all new to me so it's probably going to take me a little while of playing around with these to see which combinations create you know what the color that I'm looking for um, I know that you can get some really pretty grays by using the cobalt um, violet and the um potter's pink and also the cobalt azure i think most of those were sort of included for like grays and neutrals but yeah it is going to take me a little while to play around with this particular palette to find out what i can do with it and what colors you know i enjoy mixing but yeah my first response was that it's really really pretty um price wise it's you know for a set of high quality watercolor paints it's, you know, it's to be expected that they are going to be a little bit expensive. <laughs> um, I, from memory, let me just see if I can find the link super quickly to the Jackson's page. Um, I couldn't find them anywhere in Australia. I could only order them from Jackson's. Um, I looked around a few of my local shops and they didn't have them. So, um, so yeah. Obviously, it hasn't come into Australia just yet. So if you are in Australia, you'll probably have to purchase from Jackson's. Um, and sorry, I'm just quickly looking through their, their website to see if I can find it in Australian dollars. What a colour paint. Um, la, 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 la. Shrinky, there it is. Um, from memory, I think it was about 130 something dollars, maybe 
uh, let's see. Yeah, it's about um. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't find the same thing. Look, <laughs> I'm going to be babbling here for a while looking for it. So I'm just going to say it was about one hundred and thirty dollars for the um. There's nine nine pans, so uh, and the tin as well. So yeah, it, it, you're looking about one hundred and thirty, including shipping <laughs> to Australia. So um, it's a bit of an investment, you know, if you're not really, or if you're kind of new to watercolor, I suppose, but yeah, I, it's, it's, it's a beautiful set. And I mean, this is, I've only used it once. So, you know, obviously after I use it for a little while, I'll be able to give you a lot more feedback, but my initial thoughts were that it's a really pretty set. It's very versatile. Um, as far as the ultimate mixing set, you know, goes, I don't know that yet because I haven't really used them much, but I can see how it has the potential to be a very versatile set for mixing colors. And you'll know that if you're following me for a while that I do use mostly limited palettes. So I work with majority of, you know, my artworks, acrylic and watercolors and whatever I'm using, I'm always using a limited palette. So for me to have this limited set of colors, I'm really comfortable working with that. Um, sometimes I'm only, you know, limiting myself to maybe three or four colors. So to have nine colors is quite luxurious, but to me, it's still a decent limited set. Um, and a lot of the colors, I think are going to sort of lean more towards realistic colors rather than the vibrant sort of colors that I tend to paint with. But again, until I sort of experiment with them a little bit more, I'm not going to be, you know, entirely sure about that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's so far so good. So that's all I can really say on that. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, update on me. I am still having surgery. I haven't had it yet. I'm actually going in on Friday as I'm uploading this video. It is uh, Tuesday afternoon-ish. So um, a few more sleeps and I'll be heading into hospital to have my surgery. Uh, thank you to everyone so far who has um, sent me well wishes and um, good luck messages on uh, YouTube and Instagram. I really appreciate it. And um, everything should go fine. I'm not expecting any, you know, any, you know, <laughs> bad things to happen. So I should be, um, yeah, back to normal programming within a couple of weeks, but I will be definitely putting my feet up for the next um, month or so and taking my time to recover. And that's why I kind of wanted to get this video out super quick because I knew it's probably the last chance that I'm going to have to get a video out for the next few weeks. So as soon as I opened up this little set, I opened them up and started recording. So uh, yeah, and so this is the little the little artwork that I, that I created. Um, so towards the end of this video, there is much better lighting on this artwork. Uh, it's looking a little bit cool coloured and a bit blue at the moment, but um, the colours are a lot more vibrant than what they appear when I am actually painting in this little scene here at the moment. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. There's really not much else I, I can talk about. Um, as far as like yeah, news updates, make sure that you do check out my Skillshare classes. Um, just search for Claire Bremner at Skillshare or head to my website and there is some links there. Um, if you're not a member of Skillshare, most of the classes that I have on Skillshare, I do also have available as just one-off classes on Teachable. So you can just purchase access to a class that you want to watch and you know, you don't have to subscribe to anything. Um, so yeah, if you don't have a Skillshare subscription, you can just do it that way if you like. But yeah, um, so here it is. Yeah, so these are this is the better lit version. Um, so you can see quite nicely the granulation and the different color mixtures that you can get in here. Um, the color is, as you can see, a lot more vibrant than what it appeared while I was painting because the lighting was terrible. The, the colors are very rich and very colorful. Uh, and yeah, these are just another little clip of uh, the individual swatches. So yeah, so that's all I have to say. So thank you again for popping in and um, lots of love to everybody. And I will speak to you again in a couple of weeks.